So kung hanggang ngayon, nag-iisip ka pa rin at pinag-aaralan ang remittance business tulad ng Smart Padala, True Money, Paymaya, and other remittance business, sa tingin mo kaya, pwede mo nang subukan ngayon magsimula ng iyong remittance business this 2020? Hi guys, this is Pat and you're in Pat Quintos Review TV. So if you're new here on my channel, I do reviews about Smart Padala, Paymaya, True Money, Shopee, Computer Shop, Gcash, YouTube, and other stuff na meron na akong experience at ginawa ko yon ng video and playlist na makikita nyo dito sa taas. At kung bago kayo dito sa channel ko, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. So for today's video guys, gusto kong batiin kayong lahat ng Happy New Year and we made it through this 2020. Anong meron ngayong 2020? Kailan ba talaga yung tamang panahon para simulan mo yung remittance business mo? Actually guys, to tell you the truth, The first thing you need to do is to really stand up and make that decision na sisimulan mo na. Kasi kung iniisip mo hindi ka pa ready or mamaya na sisimulan mo o next week na magpapasa ka ng requirements, ganun iintindihan mo yung requirements mo, mapopospone ang mapopospone yan. Ngayon, pagkatapos ng video na to, simulan nyo na. Stand up, make that decision if you really want to engage to that kind of business or to the remittance business. Okay, number two guys. So, kung iniisip nyo na kailangan ng malaking capital before you can start the remittance business, for example, kunyari ang iniisip mo smart padala or ang paymaya negosyo, hindi naman ikaw nire-require ng malaking amount or malaking capital to start up your remittance business using the smart padala and paymaya. Basically, kung ano yung existing na pera mo, pwede mo nang paikutin yon for you to start your remittance business. Ang downside nga lang nun, for example, ang pera mo lang talaga sa wallet mo ay isang libo o dalawang libo, then magkaka double, double work sa'yo because pagka wala ka ng pondo sa account mo, kailangan mo ulit magpa-reload, mag-cash in, so on and so forth. Kapag nandun naman lahat sa electronic wallet mo, lahat ng pera mo, kailangan mo ring maglabas. ba? Diba? Siyempre, nagsisimula ka ng business, sabi ang kayo diyan. Tsaka lang talaga guys, kung wala kang capital na ganyan, pwede ka magsimula sa, sa yun nga, sa Paymaya, maliit lang. Mind you guys, doble kayo talaga if you want it to be successful. Even case naman na true money ang gusto mo, so meron yung minimum na cash out. So ano ba yung laman ng cash out na yun? Yung POS device kasi guys, dati free siya, free na pahiram sa, pahiram sa mga agent. Dahil dumami na ang true money agents nationwide, nagkakaubusan na sila ng POS. So ngayon, nagre-require na sila ng security, security deposit for the POS. So you may want to check with the true money hotline. So dyan na lang, check nyo na lang yan. Baka mas makapagbigay sila ng updated information um, if you really want to start the true money business. If in case naman na gusto mo ng iba pa, bakit naman hindi? Nandyan ang easy pay, ang load mana, posible, unified, and iba pa. So, you may want to check and research na lang yon through the internet. So, wala kasi akong ganung extensive na experience sa mga yan. So, I, I really cannot provide additional information. Baka mabash na naman ako. Number three, requirements. Kailangan talaga ng requirements, guys. Kailangan nyo mag-provide ng unang-una barangay clearance. And then, kailangan nyo rin ng mayor's permit or business permit. And also, DTI. So, napaka-importante nung tatlong requirements na yon in starting any of those remittance business. Maliban na lang kung yung mga third party like unified, possible, unified, possible, easy pay, mas relax yung requirements nila kesa sa smart padala and true money. Number four, time. Ano tong time na to? Sinama ko tong time na to because hindi lang naman pera ang ini-invest mo dito sa business na to. Kailangan mo rin maglaan talaga ng oras para patakbuhin tong business na to. Kailangan mo talagang bantayan, i-manage, tingnan yung daily sales. Hindi na lang yung magre-rely ka sa kung ano yung sinasabi ng tagabantay mo or what. And yung time kasi, isa siya sa ano eh, sa capital na for some other people, madaling ibigay kasi wala sila masyadong iniintindi. But for other people like me, so I have a day job, starting career with YouTube, uh, may tindahan, may computer shop, may Shopee. So, sa tulad ko na medyo maraming sideline, um, napaka-precious ng time. So, you may want to have a proper time management in order for you to be successful in every endeavor na pinapasok nyo. <music> Lastly, and most specially, number five, If you're starting with this kind of business, you need to micromanage. Micromanage 
ito yung ano, talagang hands-on ka sa business mo. Kung kaya mong ikaw muna ang nagbabantay. Magsisimula ka pa lang eh. Ikaw yung magsa-set up ng sarili mong process. Like sa amin, may arrangement kami dito na pagdating ng 1 o'clock PM until 5 o'clock PM, sarado yung shop namin. Kasi natutulog yung asawa ko. Since nagsisimula ka, wag mo sanang ipagkatiwala muna kaagad sa ibang tao. Okay lang siguro kung asawa mo yan. Pero since ikaw ang nag-initiate ang business na to, might as well alamin mo lahat ng pasikot-sikot. Lahat ng information, um, be an expert dito sa endeavor na pinapasok mo. Kasi, paano kung may hindi alam yung nagbabantay and itatanong sa'yo? So, hindi mo rin alam. So, anong gagawin mo? Diba? Yung mga ganun, some, some stuff na um, hindi, hindi mo in-expect at hindi mo pa alam yung solution. So, might as well gain that experience, micromanage, itong pinapasok ng negosyo and pag medyo gamay mo na lahat sanay ka na then you train the other person na maghahawak ng business mo since pera to might as well talaga um, closely monitored mo to guys I hope nakatulong tong tips ko sa inyo itong 5 things na diniscuss ko sa inyo na I think would really help you to start your remittance business this 2020. So, if you have questions regarding this video, kung paano mag-set up, so on and so forth, leave it down below sa comment section and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. Um, again, guys, thank you for watching. Please support me by liking this video, leave a thumbs up, and continue to support me by subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and also the bell button sa tabi ng subscribe para makareceive kayo ng latest notification sa lahat ng upload ko. Again, guys, this is Pat Quinto and you're in Pat Quinto's Review TV. Bye-bye!